roof again? I had a little more in my hand. Cheers. 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 Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of DVD Extras. I hope your Friday is doing great. My name is Chris, and I'm back here once again with the one, the only, the Jory. And we're going to rip a rip a shot of... Oh, you went the far... Yeah, there you go. We're going to rip a shot of Peach real quick, just to celebrate everyone's Friday. I hope you guys aren't listening to this at like 10 in the morning, because you can't rip one with us. But if you're listening to this at any other time... Well, you can still be excited for us, I think. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. You can be excited yeah. for us. Well, you can still love it. Anyway, before. cheers. Hope you guys cheers, are cheers, having a cheers. great Friday. We always record these a little later at night, so... At the very least, the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Very earliest. Yeah. I remember there was one time we recorded a podcast. Oh, oh, that was, mine still had some anus in it. Yeah. A lot of flavor a lot of flavor going on. Uh, I one. remember one time we did a photo shoot for uh, Naked Samurai, which you guys, if you guys have not seen them, definitely go check them out. Um, but yeah, we did. That a, was an anime for a second, but I, I know those guys. I've seen them perform. Yeah. But at the I, Stampede, For some right? reason, yeah. But yeah. for some reason, I was like, well, you guys are into anime filming? What? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we did a photo shoot with Naked Samurai at like 8 30 in the morning because the bass player had to go to work. And it was like a Wednesday or something. I don't remember. But then the guitar player uh, was like, yeah, let's record a podcast. So check out Evan's episode if you don't. Um, but yeah, it was like nine in the morning and that was the earliest podcast we've ever recorded. Yeah. Yeah. I think I've done not necessarily midday with you guys, but like early afternoon. Yeah. I think maybe like noon or one. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. And honestly, it was probably like one or two realistically, yeah. but I think I've done that time with you guys before, but that's it. Yeah. Uh, it's the earliest I'll go. Yeah. Before we got this space. So literally over a year ago now we mm. were traveling and, uh, Recording podcasts literally everywhere or my oh, room. Yeah. Sure. It was literally those two places, everywhere or my everywhere room. Everywhere or Chris's bed. Yeah. In Chris's bed. Pretty fucking close. Um, yeah, so we were, like, going... So we recorded a couple of, like... Uh, we recorded one, like, radio personality, and we went to mm. their studio and recorded, and nice. it was super sick. Yeah. So, I mean, if you guys haven't checked out the back catalog, there's a lot of episodes. This oh, is, yeah. We're well above 130 at this point, so... Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of good ones. A lot of fun guests. Yeah, very true. And you guys are fine, but it's really the guest episodes that make it good. Yeah. Dude, The uh, I think that one of the first repeat ep- uh, repeat guest episodes we had we repeated skip and paul, and paul at the same oh, time I remember that, yeah. and that was fucking wild podcast four, well and it's you guys specifically made a point <laughs> yeah. to have all four of you talk at one time because yeah. like i i was listening to the last episode or two episodes ago that we did and I'm talking while you're talking. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, my God, my ears like this, but I don't think everyone's ears will like this. That's very true. Yeah, because we did make a point. It's So we we try to, and most podcasts should, try to max out at four people. Yeah. Because any more than that, everyone's talking over each other Mm -hmm. or only two or three people are controlling the whole conversation yep. for everybody yep. where yeah well and then at that point it's like it's just those two people's podcasts and then the other people are just kind of side there yeah, yeah characters you know yeah so yeah but yeah we made a point to all four of us be like this is why you don't have more than four people all right on yep. three talk and then one two three and then everyone's like yeah. and then it could not Honestly, understand it. that was that was a really good episode i think that was uh 69 420 Six 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 or something. Yeah, like whatever, that. whatever, whatever, yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever. Paul chose for that that name. He chose a crazy one. But yeah. that was a good episode. Honestly, you guys had some good topics. Everyone had yeah, yeah, that was good. And like it's it's really important to have good guests because they can engage in a conversation. If you have a guest that's not really good at talking or doesn't yeah. really understand what's going on, then it's kind of like okay, now we have to push the conversation. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, you have to lead that yeah. conversation. Which yeah. I don't know if you saw it like last week's episode, but we were a little brain dead for a little bit. Oh, dude! By the we end were, of it, we, we were, were a not. We were not on fire. Yeah. Well, it just I I was yawning a lot, and I always yawn. Yeah, I can't help it. Just a That's sleepy just boy like in a, general. It's like a tick. It's like a nervous thing. And yeah, you no, know, it's the afternoon. I'm about to yawn right now because we're like, talking. Yeah, about we're yawning. talking about. Then you're about to and yawn. So now I'm thinking about it's it. Like I can't. I, 
I think about yawning and I can't fucking help it. I'm like, the only thing I'm going to do there is not yawn on the podcast today, but I can't help it. Yeah, yeah. No matter how. I yawn the way G burps into the mic. That's fair. It's the, it's the same. One's, it's the same one's gross, though. Yeah, but nobody wants to see inside my mouth, so I always try to, like. I'm you just get you just get close I'm when you're on your I'm phone. I'm cool. I'm not yawning at all. Yeah. No, I always yawn on the pod, and I can't, I can't help it, even if I'm not tired. Like after this, I have a bunch of shit to do, and, yeah. and I'm not going to be tired for it. I'm just going to do it. Yeah, you're just going to do it. And, and be I, good like, to go right now. Like, and when I yawn, my eyes water, and yeah. I get watery eyes, and I yawn, and I can't fucking help it. Yeah, I have no idea how we start on this topic, but we started here. You, yeah, <laughs> dang. <laughs> Uh, I feel like we were going to talk about something, but then we just kind of oh, let dude, go. Who knows? Oh, we were talking about D and D for Wednesday's episode. Oh and, yeah, D&D. and I don't know. I don't know if anyone actually cares anymore. <laughs> nah, they don't care. Yeah. If you guys do care, please comment. Let us know. We'll talk more about D and D DVD extras if you want that kind of content. Yeah, because I mean, uh, you're still pretty new to it. Oh, brand new, dude. And I wouldn't say like brand I'm. M- less, Here's I'm less new. You're, I'm less new. Well, no, it's you're you are able to actually role play in it, and I, yeah. I think that's a point that I would like to get to. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking yawn again. There you go. Um, oh, no, I, damn it. I see what you're saying, and like that's I just think you have the oh my god, the skill set. <laughs> I think you have you have such a good skill set in actually being able to like put in the effort to do the role playing. Where like, yeah, it's because I'm an actor. He's an actor. Yeah, or he just really likes attention. I do really like attention. Um, And we've talked about that. And we've talked about that on the pod before. Yeah, we definitely do. Listener, but anywho, uh, (laughs) no, I I'd, I'd like to get to that point of like the ability to play my character better because now it's like I feel like I I go like meta is that what you call it? Yeah, I, yeah. I go meta it's too much. Where it's and more been, jewelry than your character. Yeah, yeah and I've been really trying to do less of that so like this last week we played I definitely when, when I went off to the side and I was getting affected by the voices that were happening in the cave yeah, yeah. we were in I really tried to play that up but everyone expects me to not do that. Everyone expects me to interject and make the choices for them. Um, it, it, like as as a group, it's not yeah, like yeah. I'm just picking everything that happens. It's like to help them make the choice. But yeah, because they they talk uh, outside of character. Yes. Oh they, yeah. They we, talk we do, as their their overlords yeah, more or less. Yeah. We do a, a very fair amount, and I think we still need it. Yeah, yeah. Per se. Because um, we're not at that level of knowing how to play yeah, it, as a group yet. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we're still just learning how to play in general. So yeah, like, yeah. we're not able to play as the group. So we are still having to take those breaks and have, like, real-life conversation. Um, mm. And I think that's, like... The shtick where I really tried to lean into the fact that we shouldn't go in here because there's a voice telling me we shouldn't and my it just feels wrong and I think we should leave. But normally my character's the guy who's like head first, let's fucking go. And and yeah. I play that well because I'm that's how I, I chose this character so I could play it easily. Mm-hmm. And that's how I game. Right, in right. Any game I play. Yeah. It's like head yeah, first, let's you were, fucking you were go. talking about like uh, being like the run and gun guy where you yeah, just I, go. I'm like, um, head first, let's do it, let's go. So, but my character was going through this um, mental state that did not allow that. So I really had to play into that and like feed off of that. Yeah, yeah. And I, I didn't. I don't think people understood that. They kept trying to like look to me to be like, "Hey, what, what do you think? Hey, yeah, you, yeah. hey, what does Jory think?" Yeah, because uh, I me, think we should have kept going, and we did. But yeah, like, yeah. for me, it was like, "Let's." Keep but the reason, going, but like the little, but, little more secret sauce. The reason God, that no. the reason that Jory got yeah. uh, possessed or whatever, sure, sure. Uh, was because there a was a tre- yeah, there was a treasure hoard at the end yeah, of the tunnel, yeah. and because he had a like bad a, role, yeah. they were he was trying to drag him out of the treasure yeah, hoard because nobody wants them people to steal their treasure. Yeah, you know? yeah exactly. It was it like was a, a, a lock a spell of sorts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was like the lock of the treasure. It was yeah. the lock of the treasure chest, basically. Yeah, but it was like a dragon's hoard of treasure. Blah 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 blah. But yeah, outside of myself, there's one other person who just joined after me 
who is now uh, like he's the only other person that's played D and D before, yeah. and I think he helps a lot because he also I, he doesn't RP as hard as I do, but yeah. I, well, his character it, isn't as this uh, is, in depth as mine. Yeah, I guess yeah, yeah. It, my his, character's his stupid character, as fuck. His character is so much closer to him as a person. Yeah, yeah. Where I'll yours agree with is that. very different than you yeah. as a person. So dumb and strong, and I'm the exact opposite. <laughs> Weak and smart. No, nah, I wouldn't say <laughs> yeah. Chris is smart, but you know. I wouldn't say that either. <laughs> no, but it it is very different, and I and I think like I don't know, dude. My, my, this character, he tries to backseat drive a lot. Yeah, yeah. And uh, like I I understand why you respect it, and I know John respects it, but to me, it gets a little annoying. At certain points, yeah, and I love this. But guy. then, but then your character should represent that in the game. Exactly. In in like I and oh, and I like that because I've never thought about that. Where it's mm-hmm. like it's just me personally internalizing it, and I never let my character get that. But also, my character would exactly. My character would feel that. Yeah, and that's the part of like where me and my character connect. Is on getting annoyed by something. So that's that's actually yeah, a really so good point. I, mean, that's I, I love this guy, and I, you know, he's my friend, and I care about him. But sometimes when we're playing D anD D, I get just fucking annoyed, dude. Yeah. Also, our last session, uh, my character called your character a pussy, and I don't think you caught on to that. Here's the thing about <laughs> that: is my character? It, did you say it in like a? a How did you say it? Uh, so I found the plus one hammer in the treasure hoard because for some reason oh, our DM yeah, thinks yeah, that I have a yeah. fucking great hammer no, when I swing not. an axe. He has a fucking axe. So he He's gifted bear claw axe. He gifted me a great hammer, yeah. which I appreciate. Honestly, no. What I think happened was he gifted it to you because you had you had the wherewithal to search. Where I was trying to avoid the treasure because I was trying to play into the voice in my head. Yeah, yeah. So I See, wasn't that's searching. That's our ping. That's our ping. That's good. Yeah. That's well, good. In, in I in my heart, I wanted to dig in that fucking treasure and steal yeah. all the treasure. But because of the voice I heard, I was fearful of the treasure, so I didn't dig. And but the, then the what, way that I viewed yeah, it yeah. was that you were digging and you want a specific thing. I wasn't digging in. A, I don't think this is how he meant it, but this is how I received it. Yeah, was that he gave that to you so you could give it to me? So, I don't. I don't know if that's how it. I think. I think he literally. Right. I think he literally I think he thinks that I have drunk. a great hammer. So, I think he was fucking, which drunk, means as literally usual. nothing to you people. You've already probably clicked sorry, off this episode. I'm sorry, so. guys. Yeah. I, I'm so sorry, but we're gonna keep talking. But about yeah. It. But anyway. But anyway. No. So then I, I found the hammer, and I'm like, hammers are for pussies, and I, I threw have a it great at you. Hammer. He yeah. has a great axe. Yeah. So then I threw it. To, I threw it at the you. The DM gifted him. With the a wrong weapon, plus one, which adds to your attack. Yeah, yeah, when you're playing a game. Yeah, and you threw it to me, and honestly, I I did listen and I did receive that, but also at that point, I was still so focused on being fearful of the treasure and how mm. I should play that. Mm, okay, that's that good. That's good. I just took it. That's I good. just was like, okay. But in my heart, I was like, "Fuck yeah, plus one hammer!" Yeah, I, j- I had just <laughs> lost a plus one hammer. Yeah, it's a whole, a whole backstory. Rolling, yeah, so it's I a whole wanted, backstory. I, I wanted it, yeah. so I was more excited than giving. And like me as a person, was more excited to receive that than to be upset about fucking yeah. your guy calling me a pussy. Yeah, that's I'd, fair. I'd love to have a fucking battle with your guy. That's fair, and we could. And then like, champion. and then low key like. I would like to like. Uh, We're doing so much D and D. All right, maybe we should move on. Maybe we should move no, on. No, I, w- I want to know what you're gonna say. Ah, uh, yeah, I kind of want to keep it a secret. I'm so sorry, I kind of want to keep it a secret. I'm so sorry. I kind of want to keep it a secret. Yeah, yeah, keep it a secret if yeah. you think you should. But I have to talk to John about it just to. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Please do. We should have one more topic, not D and D, real fast, yeah. real quick. No, I'm just no, kidding. No, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, jeepers! Uh, but yeah. Um, but I mean, it's been, I guess, on the same topic, but a little different. Like, sure. uh, so basically, we play with the 477 crew, which yeah. Yeah. Jory, if you don't know, is the uh, head distiller. 
Yeah. Um, but like I, 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 uh, I was around enough. I knew you through. Oh yeah, yeah. I knew Jory through two different angles, yeah, and then now sure. I hang out with Jory more than either of those angles. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, but yeah, so I met Jory through two different people, and then we became friends because we're nerdier than the two people that I met him through. Yeah, I feel like uh, they just try to be Clark cool guys. and G. Yeah, yeah they Clark just try and to be G. Cool guys. Yeah, um, and they are cool guys. They I are. They are fun. Guys, they are fun. But they don't. They don't uh, deep dive into the nerd the way we do i think yeah and g does sometimes but oh, he's not sure. he's nerdy about very specific things and clark does too but in different ways yeah, yeah. It, and um, that's the thing where it's it's just such different ways um but yeah so uh it's we game with the 477 crew and i've just been around and then now like gaming together it's like i don't work there but it feels like i work there kind of thing yeah and it's like fair. yo, all these yeah. people are my friends well, even even the, the employees that don't play D. &D yeah they're like oh hey what's up how are you and yeah. they're like genuinely excited i'm like oh, oh yeah i feel good being here now yeah. yeah no and that's the vibe that's always the vibe we try to put on yeah and it's good it's fun and not even put on i guess put on is such can be such a negative sounding term for people but yeah, that's, yeah. that is our vibe where it's like you if, know, you're, if, if you're, if you just come you're back in the cool. family, you're yeah. in the family, and yeah, yeah. and we've created a family, and that's like a big, a big part of what we've cultivated and tried to cultivate, mm. and yeah, I put in so much work and so much effort to to keep that the way it is and keep it cultivated and keep it. And you know what? It, it's so funny because it's like we are like siblings. Sometimes we're so fucking annoyed with each other. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. we, it, it, but we always love each other. That's and the you thing. always What's like, like you always figure it out. Kinda. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm it, like we we always love each other. There's no other way to put it. Yeah, sometimes we get annoyed. Sometimes we we have to argue about stuff. Sometimes we have to figure it out. But yeah, yeah, there's a lot of love, and that's what we that's what we do. See, and yeah, and like I I do appreciate that too. Like, because uh, I know when you guys started this D and D group. I was like, oh, yeah, if you ever need another person, just let me know. And like, well, we just started. We're all new. We'll definitely oh, yeah. hit you up. And then you're like, hey, you want to you come you come play with us? Hey, we're it's like, yeah, man, I'm a, down. We're getting rid of a guy. Yeah, and then as soon as I started playing, you guys were like, yes, yes. <laughs> so I appreciate that. That, oh, was, yeah. that made me feel really good about myself because, like, Oh yeah, it's it not. Is. It's not that I put a lot of effort into my character to bring to you guys, but sure, like sure. I put enough effort in. I thought it was a unique enough character, oh, and then yeah. with a unique personality, Honestly, and then and I think, it I think works, everyone got excited. And I'm I like, think it works Thanks. perfect for our crew, and I think yeah. I think I think some people get a little upset about your character. They and they should. I think your character is a fucking dumb bitch sometimes because he is a dumb bitch. But he's a dumb bitch. Yeah. So how else do you treat him other than a dumb bitch? Exactly. Like, you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, you get upset in the game and yeah, your character's fucking dumb, but also it, it helps us. Yeah. It helps us build on what we're already doing. Right. I think. And that's how I always view it. And so like me as a person, I love it. But as a character, I know I have to treat it different. Mm -hmm. And I think that's my, been my hang up. Yeah, is where it's like I, I just sit back. I'm like, let Ten Toes do his shit because he's gonna fucking be stupid. And yeah, I mean, let's let's see where it goes. And like that's and how yeah, I and, do and it. sometimes that's exactly my point. Is like, hey, I'm gonna be yeah. dumb, but with a purpose. Yeah. You guys don't know. But also, I think my character would view it like that. Yeah. So I guess I I just again I built my character to have a mindset as me, so it's it's easier to connect. Be. Yeah, and that's good. Yeah, that's good. and like. Yeah, there's so many situations like that where I'm just like, in like this last battle we had, I wish it wouldn't have been so late at night. Right. Because I was so tired and I just wanted to fucking yeah, leave. Right. Yeah, and yeah. so did everybody else. And I felt that. And I felt I felt what I felt, but I felt what they felt too. Because normally my character would have been way more on your character's side. Yeah, just yeah. like, we're already fucking here. Let's do it. Yeah, Too much. Yeah, it's fine. Sorry. It's fair. Too much. But anyway... Anyhow, out of out of all of that, I hope you guys still are listening to this week's oh DVD God. extras. Honestly, I or should hope I call you're it not. should I call it D and D extras? Yeah, I hope you're not. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> we uh, we we really like just had a normal conversation that we wanted to have in person, and now we did it on a microphone with context that you don't know. So. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, that's super sorry. I, I think I'm literally going to call this week's or this DVD extras D and D extras and see yeah, if anybody you should, notices. You should honestly because well they'll notice now because I said it. Well, yeah, but it's, you know, it's too late 
for yeah. what was posted. Because so we were, we were, what were the fuck were we even opening with? And then we're like, oh, we wanted to talk we about D and D. Such a different conversation yeah, in the yeah. opening. But yeah. I mean, that's what DVD extras is for. That's that's exactly what they're for. Yeah. But that's anyway, exactly I hope you guys enjoyed for. this week's episode of D and D extras. Thank you guys so much. If you guys ever want to actually play D and D, definitely comment. Reach out to us. I would love to show you how to play. I have enough oh, yeah, dice. Dude. I have Chris enough dice you. we can fucking play. I'm not going to show you how to play because I don't really know how to play, but Chris will show you yeah. how to play. We can show you how to play. Yeah. Yeah. Hell but anyway, yeah. have a great Friday. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll see you guys. Oh, God. Now I'm burping. Oh, my God. Hopefully, we'll see you guys next Wednesday. Oh, I'm burping. Now I'm yawning. Oh, the there camera it is. cut out. Oh, my God. Oh, did the camera die? The no. camera died. All right. Oh, no. It's probably unplugged. Oh. Have a great night. Bye. Thank you guys. Love you. Like, subscribe.